Probably GG, guys. We're gonna have 11 or 12 deaths. Vanilla Emerald would have been not impossible. Oh, no mods, or I mean, uh, no DLC at all. Yeah, I usually think of vanilla as just no mods, but some people think it as also no DLC. Without DLC, I basically, yeah. Without DLC, we would be at like 12 to 18 pawns for the entire run. If I was trying this with no DLC, the only chance I would really have at all is staying like an ungodly low wealth, like literally nothing. And then like parking wealth outside the map and trying to do the Arco Nexus or something. Wow, our firepower is so much, so much less than it was earlier with uh, missing 10 other guns. I thought we were gonna build the ship today. I thought wrong. I don't have any stone beds. These are steel and these are wood. There are no stone beds. If you're asking why slate beds or a slab bed. I mean, Pain's Virtue prefers slab beds and slab beds are not the same as stone beds. Slab, stone slab beds have worse uh, stats on them than wood and steel slab beds, just like normal beds and normal stone beds. Yeah, using stone beds for prisoners is good. Crappy stone beds for prisoners to make them sleep longer since they can't have breakdowns while they're sleeping is good. But we can't have prisons. All right, get that low shields. Every one of those guns had an owner that is now dead. Would better quality counter the debuff? Uh, not, not really. I mean, to an extent, I guess, depending on what you're looking for in the bed. But if you're looking for rest recovery rate, I mean, yeah, you, you want to go with a metal or a wood, basically. How would I prevent the triple rocket incident? There's lots of different ways. I didn't see him up there. So when, if I just have more turrets out so that some turrets survive until all the rockets are shot, that could do it. If I had tankier animals like bears or elephants, I could shove them in there and that would do it. I could even get a couple of expendable pawns with shield belts and run them out there first and wait till the rockets hit. I could call in allies, which is the easiest one, call in allies and have them go and absorb the rockets. But I didn't have any of that stuff set up yet. I was like three reputation away from having an ally. In hindsight, I probably could have shoved a bunch of crap in the transport pod really quick, sent it off, and then called in allies. But, you know, no pause, strikes again. Didn't really have time to think. Yeah, there's there lots of different things we could have done. Like, I could have just used kidnap me, please, you know, and just ran out there and absorbed some, but so it goes. Yeah, it was a big mess. Big mess. Tame 100 rats and zone them at the map border for a permanent rat speed <laughs> bump. Yeah, that too. The downside to having all these, like, vat-grown soldiers is they're, you know, when they when they die, a lot of them are related to everyone or a lot of people. And that's what's happened here. We have so many people, like, minus 20 right now. And we have a lot of people with catharsis because of all the breakdowns. And as soon as catharsis starts running out, we might end up having a wave of breakdowns again. I'm thinking also the little hospital section. We might want to have a couple of hospital beds at each of the, like, fighting points. Galvarino having a breakdown. Oh, kids, who needs a name now? They survived uh, Bubblefish. Bubblefish, congratulations. Condolences, you know the drill. Got the ally now. We can call if we have another pirate raid. Beer is brewing. Uh, we should also ally the pigs since we have... Actually, might. Mm, I might send out Mule. We have enough to trade now. Yeah, let's get Mule out. All right, Mule. All right, Mule. Good luck. Good luck. Come back with 10 more colonists, please. All right, Zidian. Let's try this again. Here we go. Masterwork hospital bed. Ah, the, ch the chances of them failing. Two surgeries in a row outdoors is it's pretty good, actually. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. You're going to kill him. That was a critical failure. Look at this. Look at this ridiculousness. I'm going to have to go get, like, Glitter World medicine. Hope for the best. Ugh. Being outdoors sucks. <laughs> Mule is all already there. Jeez. Two low shields. Oh. Those low shields at least give me a little bit of hope. With this run, a little more hope. Have some normal medicine. Um, let's grab, let's grab all of it. Screw it. All right, mule, bring all that back home, please. And then we'll send you out again. Roomless surgery counts as if the room was like minus five cleanliness. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about that. 
All right, so you know, I need to start taking some ovums. Extract the ovum. Group fertilization. <laughs> a little strange, a little strange, but you know, a lot strange. All right, more babies in the vats. Medical drug, 100% blue, 130% times 0.6. So with industrial, we have a 60% chance, basically. Yeah. Rudders is confused. Why? Why have I had my ovum removed? Well, we'll go look in the vats. I wonder if you can have double counseling. I've never tried that. You cannot, you cannot have double counseling. Okay. Counseling is off cooldown, so let's find someone else that has a mood hit from, uh, from a relative dying. My son Accord died on Bella. Okay. Our modest fellowship expands. Nice. Way to go. Bella doesn't even remember they had a son. An RP scenario of why they don't want walls? Yeah, I'm not sure. What if they, they just it just never occurred to them? <laughs> it just never occurred to them. There's a, there's a part in the Hitchhiker's Guide, the galaxy, in, in the book, where they talk about a species, uh, an alien species, that invented uh, aerosol deodorant before they even thought about inventing the wheel. Because they had like... They had like 12 armpits and people stinking from the from their 12 armpits was way bigger of a problem than coming up with a wheel. So maybe it's one of those scenarios where it's like, we have other problems. We don't have time to invent the wall. <laughs> they want un unobstructed views of the ocean. <laughs> Hyper claustrophobic. It's too sandy. We tried building walls and it just sunk into the sand. All right. Do we go for the 60% surgery? Hey, we can we do a wager. You guys want to wager on whether we fail a third surgery on this guy or not? That seems like a natural, normal thing to do is bet on someone basically dying from surgery. If you're gonna go war crime, you better go all war crime. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. I'm gonna set it up. So basically we're going to try to install a bionic leg on Zidian with a level 14 or 15 doctor using industrial medicine on a masterwork hospital bed and they have failed twice before. No, I don't have Glitter World. We only have Industrial. All in on no. I mean, come on. You can't you can't fail three times in a row, right? Right? Right, Randy? Randy, please. It's very interesting. Right now it's like 60-40, 60-40, which is probably about the real percentage. Probably about the real percentage. All right, it's 60-40. All right, here we go. <laughs> Zidian says they object to this wager. Here we go. Oh, just don't kill him. You know, just don't kill him. The last one almost killed him. He was only a couple hours from dying. It was a critical failure. He had like three major bleeds on him. Hey, third time's a charm. The people that believed get the payout. There we go. What? 800. The, what? The people that voted no. Why did you spend so many points? That was almost a million points. Ouch. Ouch. That's almost the most points I've ever seen lost. My family is destitute now. I'm ruined. I'm ruined. Raid. First raid since the uh, since the incident. Attacking immediately. It's multi prong tribals. Tally. Was that all melee? It's not all melee. Okay. Okay. Um, marksman. Combat command. All right, finally a tribal raid. Thank goodness. All right, those turrets helping a ton. Just tanking for us, just tanking. Uh, turrets taking aggro and vats being the VIP of the run. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Another raid. Uh, It's this, it's tribals again. All melee tribals, okay. Thank goodness it's tribals.
It's all melee, so this should be no problem. All right, Natalia is the melee specialist. Knock her down. Please don't kill her. I don't know if we... No, uh, that, that leg was already destroyed, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they were already slow. So we're going to need another leg made. Have there been any unexpected hurdles? Not exactly unexpected, but it is... It's weird to see them happen. So, like, one of the scariest raid, or raid types in the game now, or attack types, is... Um, Manhunter, when usually Manhunter is like a freebie. So. <sighs> I hate that, man. There's a one tile overhead mountain. What is it? What is it? It's like a foot wide going into the atmosphere. There's this single spire that we can't push over, we can't destroy. Slay the spire. We can't, we can't slay the spire. It's impossible. Some column can hold up that infinitely tall mountain as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I thought about putting a column there. I might actually do it. It would be way less cover. It'd be 25% cover over instead of 75. And then if it collapsed the mountain, you know. Or the other option is I could put an IED on one side or the other because we know this is going to be used. So we can actually use that to our advantage in that way. There's some options. All right. Caravan is there. Uh, how much until we are allied with it? pigs um basically 95 i don't think we're gonna get that but we'll see what we would get Ooh, 85 uh let's see what they have for sell first they have another low shield we got we gotta take those have a bionic eye we can grab that we have a couple people missing eyes all right we'll trade for this and then we'll uh gift them the rest all right that'll do mule come on back we need some more of those tribal raids finally getting some low shields bought now all right we just need more pawns more pawns did I go for high life for the mood bonus? Yes. Yeah. We need a lot of mood from ideology to make this work. So high life was one of the easiest ways to do that. So everyone is drinking tea, psychic tea and beer. Well, psychic tea every two days, beer every day. <laughs> all right, what's our ideology color anyway? Okay. You don't have to do it all, but this will kind of work out better because if they start taking certain things off, they're still going to gonna have the whatever 60 percent or whatnot we lost kid Annie, please yeah they died yeah all right kane the first one getting died all right let's get the other leg i'm not gonna do the gambling on this one it's fine like no please let me gamble right eye turn out an answer all right we'll do that one first stall bionic right eye hey bionic eye nice this bad attack needs her right leg okay mass work helmet and the leg went on. Man, I can't believe we failed those two first surgeries. Now we're just busting them out. Surgery success factor 67%. Plus 5% from the vitals monitor. Room cleanliness because we're outdoors, though, is basically a minus 40%. Uh, light is fine. Outdoor is another minus 15%. Quality multiplier is a plus 15. So the masterwork bed basically outweighs the outdoor penalty, but not the room cleanliness outdoor penalty. I think this would be possible without DLC. It would be possible without DLC if I also used exploits and cheese, I'm pretty sure. But beyond that, I'm not sure. Is there any way to get it higher? The only way to get it higher right now, surgery success, would be a legendary hospital bed and drugs on the surgeon, pretty much. That's always the answer is drugs. <laughs> no biotech or royalty would make this easier. Oh, you mean just using ideology? Uh, I would still want royalty for low shields, probably. That's interesting about biotech. So, biotech is basically giving us vat children. But then it, it gets sort of like Neanderthal raids and... Yeah, I don't know. 
I think Biotech basically evens out with itself on it, but I, def I definitely think it'd be harder with no DLC. Yeah, the only way I could see it being possible without DLC would be to stay super low wealth, like a one pawn colony, basically, and put all the other wealth onto another pawn that's parked over over the settlement. Like, maybe have three pawns. One that stays here as a solo colonist, the second one that stays parked over the colony, and a third one that just takes things from the colony to the other one over the colony. What you do is you just dump wealth into that caravan. Doesn't matter if it's immobile. Just dump wealth into that caravan to hide it, basically, and then just bring the things in that you need. Maybe, maybe you get it to work that way. It would be it'd be pretty rough. Ship raids on 500% with a single pawn and no wealth other than the ship. I wonder how what size raids those would be. Yeah, ship wealth is quite a bit. I think with ship and just, like, infrastructure and a single pawn, you would still probably be at, like, 40,000 wealth or something. 40 to 70, depending on your map. You don't need that high of a planting skill to forge infinitely if you have a tribal background. Tribal background pawns parked over a uh, temperate forest tile only need like a seven planting. Ship rate events are a minimum 500 rate points regardless. Oh, that's, yeah, that sucks. So basically that's as low as you could get. And if you got lucky and only got 10 to 15 ship raids, you're looking at dealing with 10 to 15 500 point raids. Oh no, I had my finger on the wrong button. Oh my god. I just wasted one of the low shields because my thumb was on um, N or whatever instead of B. If we die later because we were missing one low shield, we can blame this beaver. And definitely not me for hitting the wrong button. That's all I get for trying to use hotkeys with my microphones over the friggin' keyboard. The beaver's been really annoying this run, yeah. How much longer? 11 days. So 11 days and all the deaths from the 11, 11 that died. All those mood hits will go away in 11 days. Uh, it's it's kind of funny too. I was talking about how I was annoyed with how many mechs we were getting. We are just getting non-stop mechs. And then as soon as we get an explosive pirate, we immediately have 11 deaths. So we probably would have had any deaths with the mechs. Arconexus doesn't have a raid event, so it might be easier in that regard. It's going to be easier than ship launch. But the problem is we'd have to get to the uh, the wealth for Arconexus three times. So I'd basically have to survive three runs of this long enough to get it that done. Which might be possible. I mean, if it comes down to it, we could always try that. If, if, if we do the ship launch, let's say we get to the ship launch and we're like, oh, Christ. Ship launch is impossible on this. Then maybe the next one I, I try to do the Arco Nexus part. Starting over again with five people and becoming incredibly terrified of 15 cougars again is tough. Yeah, like if I'm... That one may be pretty feasible for like the five Xenotype run where I start as tribal with five like godly Xenotypes and then go from there. Especially with um, parking wealth off map or something. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying to just win it straight up with uh, baseliners at the moment, of course. Look at that magnificent hair on this person. I guess we can knock this out really quick, just in case we find a pawn with, like, robust. But I don't know. I'm trying to do it with baseliners mainly, so... Ah, we'll knock it out, just in case. Just in case. One lucky gene castle for everyone to be sanguine, robust, etc. I know, yeah, which is why I'm not sure if I want to do it or not. I mean, I don't know. We have all these things stacked against us already. Are walls walls? Why not build walls? 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 Is adding melee body parts... Uh, make melee pawns better? Or is it just to give ranged pawns some melee capacity? They've changed it. So mistake not. Um, it's a little confusing now, but I think overall those parts now make melee attackers just a little bit better. It's not... I don't really think it's worth it. And it can be a problem in social fights. So like if you have the Venom Fangs and they get in a social fight, they can actually poison someone. Um, but used to, they would alternate between which weapon they used and it would lower the DPS of good melee weapons. But from what I understand, they fixed that. So the answer now is it does make them a little bit better, but generally not enough to really worry about it, honestly. All right, we have a new VAT army growing there. Oh, these are beggars, okay. 70 herbal medicine. That's a lot of beggars. Which herbal medicine do we have? We've actually been overgrowing it for a long time. 82, nope. <laughs> they want almost all of it. Nope, killed them all. I think I might actually. I might betray them. 
I'm definitely not helping them. So on their way out, as they cross the water down here, we might line up and just take their humane leather for ourselves. Perhaps, perhaps. Why do I all the clothes? Do I have plus one anyway? I explained it earlier, but basically, since people are taking off some clothing when a piece is better for them, like let's say we make a masterwork flak vest. So that person takes that off and puts on the new flak vest, and then someone else might take that excellent flak vest and put it on. And then that excellent flak vest will already be dyed for the ideology color. So then I only have to redye one thing rather than dyeing two new things. That makes sense. So just dyeing all of it means that if they're shuffling clothing around a bit, I just don't have to worry about it as much. Uh, so I think there's only one beaver left and it's headed for the anima tree. I think not. Tao, let's go. Not today, beaver. Oh my God. <laughs> nice, nice shot. Waiting on the research, waiting on the research. I think this is the last research we're gonna do. And I wish Rocket Swarm was better against pirates. Also, they're all spread out in this, so. The only other thing I'd really want in here is Cataphract, but we'd have to find two tech prints. And if they end up wanting packed survival meals to sell or something later, I can just throw down normal research benches and get that research really quickly. All right, I think it is time. Yeah, we can do a festival. So we just want this to go positive. Obviously, if we can get a joint event off of it, that would be incredible. That'd be ideal. As long as it just goes positive. Then I think we're just going to go back to drums. The Lantern Festival is really good, but it needs more and more wood the more colonists we have, which ended up being a problem. We were, we were taking us like, I was taking what, like 170 wood? Uh, boring. Crap. I wonder how many of these turrets I need. I just need enough turrets to live long enough to get hit by Doomsday so that we don't. Although we do have um, a call in now, so. That's another thing. We need to ally the pigs. Um, how are we doing on, on drugs here? I actually have quite a bit. I think I'm going to send Mule back off again. I ended up not betraying those people, but whatever. Actually, if we're only doing it to ally, I'll just drop pot it. Screw it. Plus 22. We'll just take it. It's not quite an alliance, but it's getting closer. Kindly has summoned a triple granny. All right, let's see what granny has to say. Wet and floppy. Oh, Jesus. That's a turtle shell. I did get soaked in milk today. Never happened before. Wet and floppy and soaked in milk. Thanks, Granny. That doesn't paint any kind of crazy picture that I want him. You know what? I'm just going to pretend that never happened. Okay. Firepower is way less than it was before, so some of these might actually get kind of close. Wow, one of the small ones actually got all the way to us. How many pawns have we lost so far? far? We lost seven in a single raid today. Let's see what this says. Some of these are sacrifices, though. This says we've lost 20 colonists. I think 15 of those, 15 or 16 of those are legitimate deaths. So we've had 15 or 16 real deaths in this run. Does making a pawn move around increase the chance it is targeted? I already want them moving. So I'm putting that pawn closer to them so they get targeted first, just cause of proximity. And then I want them already moving to start kiting away. So that's why I don't just like stand them there. So I don't want them to tank it. I want them to kite the things around. All right, let's go. Come on, just something positive. Does it, I mean, I really want to join event, but anything positive would work. Come on. Unforgettable, nice. We're only four points off. God, I don't want to get the, those last four points on these three. I don't want to wait 20 more days. All right, we're going to get a lot of resources scanned nearby. So that way, hopefully, we can make, like, infinite IDs and turrets and everything like that. Seems good. Let's get some more of these skulls around here. Probably start just putting skulls around everywhere. Man, oh, man, I need to, uh, to redo this. We'll get five more festivals that way, too. And we'll get a plus four getting rid of the altar. We'll get a plus two getting rid of masts. So definitely some uh, ideology stuff we can get a little bit more mood on. What I have the skulls for? Mood. Skull spike desired. With enough skull spikes around, you get a plus three mood for being in that area. Uh, this is a really dangerous thing to do, but let's put the giant explosive buildings right next to where our babies are being grown. Seems fine. Yeah, I want to get tons of material scanned now. Now that uh, our researchers are done with what they are doing, they will be scanning nonstop. So five people scanning all the time. We should get this map like filled with stuff. 
Do you ever lose sleep mulling over the terrible, terrible things I've done in RimWorld? No. Because I can separate games from real life. Or it's because I also do war crimes in real life. Pick whichever one you like best. Uh, our, uh, our first Volcanic Winter. We've now had every event. Volcanic Winter can last up to 50 days. Or 40 days. 40 days. And we have the minus 10 from the climate adjuster. Hmm. I mean, we can put down sun lamps, obviously. But I think we're just going to be... I think we're probably going to be okay. Like, I might end up destroying the climate adjuster. <sighs> Hi, Psychic Drone. What's the minimum time for a volcanic winter? Is it, I want to say it's like 20 days. It can last as low as 7.5, really. I don't know why I was thinking 20. 7.5 to 40, okay. Extreme break on Galvarino, that is really bad. Oh, minus 54 from that drone, ouch. Psychically hypersensitive. Oh man, I don't have any tinfoil hats or anything. <laughs> Stay asleep, Galvarino. I'm almost tempted to go ahead and beat him into unconsciousness. <laughs> Drink your beer. Don't kill anyone. Do your psychate tea. I'm watching you, Galvarino. His mood's actually... That's in, that's insane. He's got a minus 54, and his mood's actually trending up. The psychic drone is over! Galvarino. What? <laughs> that's unreal that Galvarino didn't break down during that. Minus 54 didn't break down. And now it's trending all the way up. All right. I guess it's time for this. Welcome back. You're All right, marine helmets. That'll be a big upgrade overall. Can you play reason for only having single shelves or preference? There is a slight reason. So a single shelf is the same material per storage space as double shelves. However, single shelves can be moved and maneuvered in cracks and places better. Uh, obviously, because they're only a one by one instead of a two by one. And also, if something gets destroyed, like someone has a breakdown and they're going and they're going to destroy a shelf, They'll destroy only a single shelf, you only, and that's 10 materials, whereas if they destroy a double, it's 20 material. So it's just very minor things. I mean, it doesn't, it probably doesn't matter that much in the grand scheme of things. But double shelves have no benefit over single shelves now. There's none. They, they are the exact same wealth and everything. They're the same material, or I mean, uh, the same amount of material per storage space. It's, um, yeah. Welcome. It doesn't really matter which one you use, but singles can also just go anywhere, so... All right, here we go. Siege. Oh, that's tiny. Sieges are tiny. Holy crap, that's the smallest raid we've had in so long. That's that's That feels really nice. They have a doomsday. Get down here, eat these doomsdays. Allies, hurry up. Where's that doomsday? Shoot the doomsday. I don't know, the doomsday. Shoot it. There we go, perfect. Oh no, our allies are fleeing after they did their job that I wanted them to do. Oh no. Thank you, allies. Uh, there we go. We're getting snow now because of the volcanic winter. Might have to destroy this, which means no beer when it comes back up. I, I can't grow food because we can't enclose it. Like, it doesn't even matter if I... Um, I'm probably going to have to destroy this. How long has the volcanic winter been going? Two days only. I'm going to destroy it and hopefully I don't regret that later. Watch this be a minimum... Length volcanic winter as well. <laughs> I regret this. All right, it's 10 degrees warmer. I moved that, didn't I? No, it's under. Wait, where is it? It's not. There's no, uh, there's no column there. All right, some more rituals. Come on. We just need positive. We need positive rituals. A wanderer. All right. Just don't. Be able to fight and don't be a child. Hey, it's a pyro, but I don't care. They can use a gun. Nice, right this way. Raven 989. Here we go, let's go again. Really would like Unforgettable. Even if we don't get a pawn join, Unforgettable is what we really would like. It's a fun one, not Unforgettable. 
So we we have to get unforgettable on the next one to get the reform. Hey, another person that can fight. Nice. Welcome in. Right this way, sir. Not great at it, but they can do it. King of hashtags. Welcome in. Grab that weapon. So we're back up to 27. So we're still about six shooters down from what we were. Well, oh, that's a big flu. That's exactly how many hospital beds we have, though. <laughs> Oh, was it one of the babies that got the flu? Maybe that's what's going on. That's interesting. Is that going to just freeze the flu for its entire life? I think it might. And then he's going to pop out with the flu, and then we'll have to heal him when he pops out. <laughs> he's going to pop out at 13 with the flu. He's going to have the flu for 10 years. How do you even get flu in the vat? Yeah, I don't know. I guess someone put some in the, in the baby food and shoved it in there. I'm not sure. All right, I don't care if you have flu or not. We're doing another party. Come on, unforgettable. Oh, we got unforgettable. Oh, it's so good. Now we can reform. We can do five more of these. Oh, I really didn't think we were going to get it. And we got a recruit off of it. Nelson, right this way, Nelson. Look at you. Look at you. Excellent. Peppa Kaz. Oh, we actually need to uh, make more assault rifles now. All right. Uh, we are going to reform. So a couple things to do here. We're going to reform the ideology. I think we're going to go back to drums, even though it's less percent chance of the top end. But it's less material to use, and we also can get a work speed bonus. So we're going to go ahead and remove all of these social festivals. And drum party, drum party, drum party. So the drum party also has a better top end on it. I think the mood increase from drum party can get up to like plus 16 or something ridiculous like that. And you can also get a work speed boost. So definitely way to go. Uh, I started with that and then I changed it and screwed around with some other things, but it seems like it is the best one. So let's make sure we got all that right. Okay, we're gonna remove this altar and we're gonna remove flop hats, remove war masks. Should help out. There we go. Suddenly everyone gets a extra plus, what is it? Six or something? Plus two for the shirts. And we no longer have the minus four for the altar. Very nice. Everyone just got a plus six mood buff. Excellent, excellent.